So hi students, welcome back to my channel. Again, this is a continuation of our discussion on the law of conservation of mass and balancing chemical equations. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung nauna kong video, makikita mo ang link sa taas. Pwede mong panoorin kung hindi mo pa alam kung ano ang mga basics ng pagbabalance ng isang chemical equation. Ngayon, kung napanood mo na po ang aking video, pwede ka nang magpatuloy. So last time, we said that the law of conservation of mass tells us that matter is neither created nor destroyed. In any chemical reaction, the total mass of the reactants must be equal to the total mass of the products. And we have partially seen that in our discussion last time kasi nag-balance tayo ng equation and before balancing the equations, we counted the number of atoms in the reactants and compared that with the number of atoms in the products. And we tried our best to make them equal. Kasi if they are not equal, kahit isang element lang, ibig sabihin, the equation is not balanced. Hindi nasusunod si law of conservation of mass. So nakikita natin dun sa mga example natin nung nauna na kung ano yung elements na meron sa reactant, makikita rin sa products, nagkakaroon lang ng tinatawag natin na rearrangement. So halimbawa, dito sa example na to, meron tayong methane, CH4, and oxygen gas. So meron kayong carbon, meron kayong hydrogen, and meron kayong oxygen. However, on the right side, you can still see the same elements. Nagkaroon lang ng rearrangements. Pero, aside from that, we have to take note, according to the law of conservation of mass, that the mass is the same for the reactants and the products. And we will be doing some calculations today to prove that. Pero bago ang lahat, kailangan meron muna kayong idea sa inyong periodic table. So this is an old periodic table of elements. Makikita natin dito, wala pang pangalan ng mga elements na nasa kanan, sa lower right. Ngayon may mga pangalan na yan. But I want you to focus on just one box. Kasi there are important values here. And I want you to focus on what we call the atomic mass. The atomic mass, sabi nga dyan, atomic mass, it is the mass of the atom. Usually, this number has decimal values. But then, in our calculation today, to simplify the calculations, we will be using values that are rounded off. Okay? Huwag pansinin si atomic number, we will be dealing with the atomic mass. And I hope you can remember very common atomic masses kasi you will be using this in answering your learning activity sheets. Halimbawa, ito. Uh, don't focus on the column on atomic number. I want you to focus on the column on atomic mass. So, hydrogen 1, helium 4, lithium 7, beryllium 9, boron 11, carbon 12, nitrogen 14, oxygen 16, fluorine 19, neon 20. So, itong mga values na to, yan yung mga common na ginagamit sa mga problems. Kung halimbawa naman na hindi given dito or hindi binigay ng teacher ninyo, you can easily search that in Google. Just write their atomic mass of this element and then you just get the rounded off value to simplify the calculation since we just want to compare the masses in the reactants and the products. So without further ado, let's go to the computations. Ayan. So I already gave here the balanced equation. If you watched my video about balancing chemical equations, ito yung lumabas. So, what we need to do is to calculate the values for the reactants and the products. But then, we will be focusing on the masses. Meron tayong dalawang elements dito, aluminum and oxygen. Balikan natin yung ating table of values. For aluminum, we have 27 and for oxygen, we have 16. Sulat natin sa taas para hindi natin makalimutan. 
aluminum, 27, oxygen, 16. So, how do we use this in determining the mass of the reactants and the products? So, dito sa ating table, pinaghiwalay pa si aluminum at saka si oxygen, pero I will just combine the computations para mas madali. Anyway, ia-add din naman siya sa dulo. So, 4 times 27, which is for aluminum, plus 3 times oxygen gas, 16 times 2, para dito. So, that would be 108 plus 96 and we will be getting 204 grams. On the right side, the product, it also consists of aluminum and oxygen. So, 2 times 27 times 2. So, bakit nagkaroon ng 2 dyan? Ito siya, 2. Tapos ito, 2. Plus, 2 times oxygen, which is 16, times 3. So, bakit may 2? Kasi si 2 rito, wala namang plus sa gitna yan. Kaya si 2 ay mumultiply natin dito. So, ano lalabas? 2 times 27 times 2 is 108 plus 2 times 16 times 3 is 96. At ang lalabas dyan ay 204 grams. So, parehas ito dito. Therefore, mass is conserved or the law of conservation of mass is observed in this reaction. Next, 2 atoms of sodium plus chlorine gas yields 2 molecules of sodium chloride. So, ano ba yung mga values tatandaan natin dyan? So, si sodium ay... 23, si chlorine ay 35.5. In some books, they just use 35, pero we will be following this visual. We will be using 35.5. So, sulat lang natin sa taas. Na, 23 grams. Chlorine, 35.5 grams. Combine na natin ito. So, 2 times 23 plus 2 times 35.5. Ano lalabas? 2 times 23 is 46 plus 2 times 35.5 is 71. So, that would be 100. 17 grams. Ito naman, sa kanan, 2 times 23 plus 2 times 35.5, which is basically the same as this. Okay, so that would be 46 plus 71 and 117 grams. Last example, we have this balance equation. 2 iron oxide plus 3 carbon yields 4 iron atoms plus 3 carbon dioxide molecules. So, iron is not here, but then you can easily search that in Google. You will get 56 and then... Carbon is, of course, 12 and oxygen is 16. Yan naman yung mga usual na ginagamit dyan. Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. The rest, madali na lang din hanapin sa Google. 
So, I will write the values here. Iron, 56 grams. Oxygen, 16 grams. And carbon, 12 grams. Dito muna tayo sa kaliwa. 2 times 56 times 2 plus 16 times 3 plus 3 times 12. So, sa nakuha yung mga numbers na yan? 2 2 3 Ito naman, 3 times 12 If we simplify that Fifty six times two is hundred twelve plus sixteen times three is forty eight plus of course three times twelve is thirty six. Madali na lang to pag may calculator kayo. So you will be having three hundred twenty plus thirty six, and that would be three hundred fifty six. Grams. Sa products naman, we have 4 times 56, 4 po ito, plus 3 times 12, plus 16 times 2. Three po ito, tapos 12 for carbon, oxygen, tapos dalawa. 4 times 56 is 224 plus 3 times 12 plus 16 times 2 is 44. Three times forty four is hundred thirty two. And if you combine that, you will be getting three hundred fifty six grams. Okay, so therefore the equation is balance and it also follows the law of conservation of mass. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope these examples can help you answer your learning activity sheet number three. And if you have questions, you can ask them in the comment section below. See you in my next video lesson. Bye!